decorates his face. Fucking grow that shit out. Make it look cool. I, I don't know. I, I think hands down the beard is like the optimum option. Uh, looks better. I just started growing a beard at a young age. I don't know. I had puberty when I was a real fucking little kid. So I had a beard when I was in like fucking sixth grade. When I was during my three year period of school, I had to shave every day. Worst three years of my life. Me as me personally, I just don't want to fucking do that shit. I love the feeling like right after you shave, that feeling in your face. You don't feel that very often unless you shave off. If you have a beard, you have not felt like the smoothness of your shape in a long time. I, I hate it. Don't like the feeling of it afterwards. A whole lot less work than shaving and it's a whole lot more fun. I never really was good at it. I don't believe that shaving is really all that great for your face anyway. The beard's not that hard to take care of, other than daily washing. I shampoo and condition it daily. Shampoo, condition, and if you're ever getting itching, head and shoulders. You know, uh, when I retired from the Army, if anybody mentioned anything about using a hair blower or curling iron or flat iron or hairspray, I'd have probably punched them in the nose. Okay? Now, daily, I, I uh, curl it with a curling iron. And, uh, and it's, of course, it's got so large, I don't use wax anymore. I use a spray. And it takes about 10 minutes to uh, fix it. You look as smooth, suave, and it's chill. Just like me. They teach me about the beard. It's a really nice song, and I like them. They're so cool and kind. I like hats and wear hats. Like, I like beards and I like hats. I like everything. They're so cool. I don't know. I like them. I think they're, they're, they make you look rugged like a man. For the right beard, I would definitely be completely turned on for the wrong beard. You know what I'm saying? It needs to be the right beard. Like, white collar workforce probably think like clean shaven is the way to go, but I think they're a bunch of vaginas. Yeah, fuck them. I thought you need to have a, a real beard. You know, they got these guys that wear those false beards, it's not quite the same. You need a real beard for Santa Claus. If you work somewhere really cold, it'd probably be a good idea to have a beard, keep your face warm. You know, Santa Claus, like, he's got the right idea. It's in the North Pole and whatnot. Oh, what inspired me? Jesus. You know, uh, all that time in the army, of course, all you can have is a small mustache. I always wanted a beard, and uh, I had a grandfather that had a huge beard. So uh, once I retired from the army, uh, started growing it out, tried a few different styles, and uh, this is what I ended up with. This is my everyday look. I think originally it was just pure laziness when I was a teenager. And I realized I was starting to just get like some stubble and so forth. And then I just said to myself, you know, I really don't like this whole razor thing. So I just ditched it. You'd be surprised how many people really like these things. And, uh, you know, it's, it, it surprises and amazes a lot of people. And, and I get a lot of pictures taken. Someone has a problem with the beard. They shouldn't be alive. <laughs> I once got a job at a, uh, a lawn service company during the winter doing snow removal. And uh, the reason they hired me was because I had this shitty looking beard and these handlebar mustache that I just shaved the, the night before. And uh, when they hired me, they, they put me with all the, uh, well, the immigrants or the Spanish speaking guys that were there. And they made me work with them all day. They thought I was like, an Ecuadorian or some shit. So the, about halfway through the day, I had to uh, pull him aside. I was like, "Hey, man, like I speak English. Like I'm not, you know, with that." I went from the mohawk to the beard. You know, it's kind of like it commands that type of like, oh, what he's all, what is he all about? You know. And it immediately catches people attention. And I, I'm admittedly someone who likes to get attention from people. There's a, a group of females that prefer beards, which we also prefer. <laughs> um, I got laid here a few times just because of my beard. <laughs> so, uh, well, I think, uh, well, at least the women we, we get involved in like beards. 
especially like girlfriends, parents and shit. That was always real bad. Coming to meet me, like, oh crap. I just look like the worst kid ever. Opposite six. No, because I can't get any. Oh! oh. <laughs> no, I haven't had much luck with the ladies. Not, not for a long time. Not with the beard. In, in school, I bet you if I had a beard in school, yeah, I would have gotten a lot. This one girl, she, uh, for some reason, she just kept coming back to my beard and just kept rubbing it. And I couldn't say no. I mean, I like when people rub my beard. Uh, up to a few years ago, sometimes I'd wake up in the morning wondering if I still had it because I was afraid she'd cut it off during the night. However, since, since I won the uh, third place at the uh, World Championships two years ago, the first thing she said to me when I got off the stage was, don't cut that thing off, we're going to Norway. <laughs> There's a few jobs out there that for some reason are how, 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 what's the word, uh, it's not racist because your beard's not a race, <laughs> yeah. but, uh, I guess, uh, prejudice, prejudice against, like, facial hair. Why? Pfft. Fuck if I know, but they are some of a bitches, so, uh, fuck them. The positives about being with a bearded man. S-E-X. I've never been a fan of the full beard. I do like facial hair. I think it gives men a little bit of a, an edge and a rugged look, but I would say I'm usually a goatee kind of girl, not a full beard. And that is not cute when it is scattered and it draws too much attention. There are men with full beards, and I like a good man, and that is sexy. Why don't you do everywhere else long and have the goatee fucking short? Right. That's stupid. That's, that would look dumb. Well, that's different. I mean, he didn't have a beard, but he had a goatee. And the minute he shaved it off, it was like, who the fuck are you? Like, what is this? Is this my dad? And then, like, when he was talking to me, and like, can I take him I didn't really take him seriously. Uh, some people do some crazy stuff. Yeah, like the lightning bolt beards. I was about to do that. This group of Hasidic Jews walk up to me. And uh, I've seen them walking around town all day. And they walk up to me and they say, Oh, how are you, brother? Uh, and, and they start to talk to me and they're like, You're, like, you, you are, you're Jewish, right? And I was like, No, 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 sir. It didn't help at the time that I had this stupid fucking haircut where I had these little Jew curls on the side of my head. I got the Amish thing a lot, too. I don't quite get that, but... I got the uh, Arab thing a lot, too. How does the conversation go when they ask you if you're Jewish? Oh, mostly uh, mockingly. If, if I were to come home from work after a hard day's work, and I don't even expect a meal on the table, I will help you prepare a meal. But if you come to me and say to shave my beard, that's the line. <laughs> it's you and me with a beard, or me with a beard with somebody else. <laughs> Straight up. My, my personality is love life. My boyfriend, Nick's beard, drives me absolutely wild. Drives me wild. The people that can't grow a full beard? No, I'm just kidding. I, I give them a lot of credit for trying. But I feel like when they have no beard, and they talk to people with beards, they should explain and express that they tried. Because then we'll have more respect for them. I feel sorry for the guys that try to grow beards and fail because they're missing out on performing the highest potential of oral sex that they can. And it, I feel bad that they'll never reach that peak of their... I feel more bad for whoever they're with, actually. <laughs> and it's a pillow. It's your best friend. It's there for you at all times. It's like a separate entity that just rents out space on your face. Like, you can't... You can't, you can't, like, you know, compare to that. Like, what, is, what, what else do you carry on your face that can do so many things? And that's yours. I mean, each beard is so unique. You can't look at another guy and be like, that dude's beard is the same as that dude's beard. Beards can be similar, but they're never the same. You can try to style your beard like another man's, but every, beard, every man's beard is his own. And every time you shave your beard, and every time you grow a new beard, that beard is a new beard. And it takes upon its own entity. I, I would think that beards can like define people. I would think that it can, it can completely characterize 
just like your whole demeanor. If you have like a big badass beard and you can walk out, like you, you can walk into total strangers and just take on that persona. If you have a nice curly mustache, you can just go on, and just take on that. It all it all depends on like your own style and the way your beard grows in, and how you keep it up.